So over here, you can see that I have a blank project in the expert mode. And then what you can easily do around over here is um, bring in a solid color of your choice as well. So to do that over here on the layers panel, you can go around over here on the right hand side. And here you can see uh, this button right here. So if I were to go around and click, then you can see that the first option is a solid color. So if I were to go around and then click on this, then you can see that a solid color appears. You can go around and use uh, the color picker tool to go around and pick the color that you wish. And you can also choose web safe color if you are uh, designing, uh, let's say something for a web with traditional settings right here. You can go around and disable this and then choose different shades of colors as you can see right here and get the solid color that you want. You can work around with the hue, saturation and brightness values right here. You can go around and type in the values and you can see that you can change around the hue value right here. You can work around with RGB and even the hex codes right here as you can see. So here you can work around with RGB values for example and then choose the value that you want. You can type in the value as well and you can experiment typing around right here and then I um, uh, will get the color that you want. Once you're happy about the color that you have, then you can press OK and the solid solid color is applied just like this. You can go around uh, onto the option again for solid color and choose another color and there's color on top of it as you can see. You can go around over here onto, uh, let's say for example, any solid color right here, disable it and so forth as you can see just like that as well. So that is how you can add in solid colors inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.